This video is going to demonstrate how to save, export, reuse, and reposition a rough stock from one operation to the next in the case that the second setup isn't readily available from the CAM system. The first thing to do is add an export stock function from the dropdown, the same one that the initialization is usually found in. Choose which stock is to be saved in the case that there are multiple in the setup. Choose what file format the export will be in, such as STEP, STL, Parasolid, or NC Simmel's internal one. Give it a name and a file location, choose the units and the reference system to be attached, and hit OK. Run the simulation all the way through once to obtain and save the result of the rough stock from this first operation. This will be what the starting stock will look like for operation 2. Now, open the current setup and choose to store it in the library so everything that remains the same in the next operation, i.e. the fixturing and the part, is copied over. Apply out of the setup and the process operation 10 back to the main project level. Create a new simulation process for operation 20. Click on the setup icon to create a new setup, then choose Get from Library to import the saved setup from Op 10. Look for the .ncs setup extension. It will bring in a duplicate from Op 10, and from there, anything that is different can be swapped out. In this case, the rough stock is the concern, so it will be removed and replaced with the result of the first program. Right click on the stock model and find the remove function. At the top, click the Import CAD Model blue icon. Level up to the Simulations folder in the project to find the save stock from Op 10. Once it loads, use the icon next to Import to define the model as a stock. To do this, select it in the 3D window. It should turn red, and then hit the green check mark to apply it from the CAD import into the setup. By default, it will place the part origin at the setup origin, so it will have to be repositioned properly for the second operation. Choose the stock from the setup tree and the positioning icon from the setup ribbon. First, quickly flip it on the z-axis by choosing the negative direction and the orientation reference. Then, translate it up toward the desired position in z as well. Time to hone in on the precise location. Briefly apply out of the setup to take a measurement for the remaining transitional value. Choose a point-to-plane measurement and create the measurement plane on the bottom surface of the part. Turn off that model from the tree and take a point measurement on the current location of the rough stock. The models are currently offset by 307 thousandths. Re-enter the positioning command, alternatively this time by right-clicking the stock and choose position. Simple calculations can be done inside the window, so simply subtract the 307 from the original 7-inch offset. Apply the changes and ensure that the models are now well aligned. In the case that the program offset is different than the setup attachment point, it is possible to manually create another axis system in the setup as well. Right click on other axis systems and choose create axis system. If moving the Z up doesn't wind up in a clear result for the final location, head back to the measurement tools, this time choose point, and when selecting the part, it will show its distance from the original zero. Input that value, verify the location, and rename the axis system G55. Apply back to the Operation 20 process level and select the machine that this operation will be run on. Add an initialization from the Functions tab and make sure to define it for G55 using the G55 axis system that was just created. Lastly, add the ISO program from the text file location and NCSIMIL will automatically decode it, checking for any syntax errors as well as create the toolpath wireframes. If everything is set correctly, they should be encasing the part. Now, play the simulation to run the material removal for the second operation. It is viewable in the full machine view, table view, or a combination of the two. Using this strategy, it is possible to carry a part through its entire machining process, checking for collisions at every step, always beginning with the most updated rough stock. At the end of the sequence, run a comparison showing the difference between the part model and the rough stock that was just cut. Verifying two operations allows for a complete visualization of the process for both the programmer and the operator. 